Hi, and welcome to DT Briefly for Tuesday, March 4th, 2014. I'm Liana Solis, the Vita editor for the Daily Torador. Here are today's headlines. A jury found 23-year-old David Watson, a former Texas Tech student, guilty on Monday. The jury found Watson guilty of sexual assault, according to the trial report, but was not found guilty of the original charge of aggregated sexual assault. Millions of Americans experience an allergic reaction to food each year. Milk, eggs, fish, selfish, tree nuts, peanuts, wheat, and soybeans are the eight most common foods to be allergic to, according to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration website. Mindy Diller, a registered dietitian with Hospitality Services, said the department works to accommodate for students with food allergies and intolerances on campus. Average savings accounts, low unemployment rates, and low home prices cause the city of Lubbock to be ranked number six on GeoBank's ratings list of best and worst cities to save money. The survey measured 100 of the most populated cities in America, according to the report. The celebration of Mardi Gras brings up the images of patrons lining the streets and throwing beads in the air as the parade marches past. Lucas Flores, the director of communications for the Roman Catholic Diocese of Lubbock, said Mardi Gras is a celebration before Catholics begin the 40 days of Lent, where they will be fasting and abstaining and going to more serious time of three things, prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. Later Raider senior at forward, Kelsey Baker, is on the road to recovery after an Achilles tendon injury has kept her out the entire season. After averaging 10.7 points per game and being named to academic All-Big 12 second team as a junior, Baker tore her Achilles while warming up before practice in August in a freak accident. Hearing she had missed her senior season was tough, she said. After the injury, she knew that she would have to spend the games on the bench, but said that she takes her role seriously, keeping the bench positive when things aren't always going the team's way. To read the full stories, pick up the Daily Torador or visit dailytorador.com. For DT Briefly, I'm Liana Solis.